Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. So, this is Srinivas. So, in our last session, so we discussed the basic concepts of arrays. So, what is the definition of array? How to declare the array? In how many ways we can initialize the array? How to process array elements? Now, we will see some of the examples on array. In the first example, how to read and how to print array elements. Okay, see. Here, so first we are writing header file, header file, and then a main method. Inside the main method, I am declaring one array. Already we discussed arrays can be declared either locally or globally. So, here it is a declaration is a local declaration int arr of 5. I am not initializing with any value. Sir, if you are not initializing the array with any value, then what are the default values? Garbage values, right. So, here it is how to process the element. Sir, I want to print and check whether all these array locations are initializes with a garbage values or not. Simple. Just repeat one for loop and print, right here. To print the for loop, we need to declare the variable i. So, declare the variable i. Index number starts with a 0 and here it is a less than 5 i plus plus less than index I mean less than the size. How to print? Directly we are giving locations printf, printf, percentage d percentage d and then arr of i, arr of 0, arr of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, like that it will give. Sir, here it is, suppose if you print directly, the elements are garbage values. So, it will print one after another, one is followed by another. Then you cannot recognize what is the first element, second element, third element. So, I am using here escape character slash n, it will send the control to next line. So, in 5 lines, all the 5 garbage values it will print as an output. Now, it will be clear. Okay. So, this is simply how to print array elements. Now, we will see how to find sum of all the array elements. How to find sum of all the array elements. Okay. I am declaring one array and directly I am initializing the values int arr of size 5 I am taking 5 and I am assigning some elements directly 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 elements and next I want to find the sum. How to find the sum means again we are using one iterator one for loop and we need to check every element we need to access every element that will be added to one value some value right for example first time declaring i sir what is the use of i by which we are repeating the loop index number starts with a 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus i plus plus to repeat the for loop we are declaring i from first location to last location all the elements we should add so that's why here it is we are taking right for loop and every time element by element we should collect how to collect arr of i this is collecting the element after collecting where we have to add just add to the variable sum equals to 0 you must initialize a variable sum with a 0 suppose if you are not initializing by default some value is a garbage value. So, later all the array elements will be added to the garbage value. Finally, you will get another garbage value. You will get what? Another garbage value. So, take care of that. So, here arr of i value we are adding to sum. After adding the result we are collecting into variable sum. 
so five times it will repeat every time the element will be added to the sum finally we are printing that sum printf sum value it is an integer so we are printing that sum printing that sum how it will execute i value starts from 0 to 4 initially sum value 0 observe here initially sum equals to 0 and i equals to 0 whenever i value 0 i value 0 sum value sum plus a r r of i value 0 plus a r r of i value is a 10 so that will be collected into sum we are collecting into sum so 0 plus 10 10 will be stored into sum in the next iteration whenever i value 1 sum value 10 sum value 10 plus a arr of 1 value 20 10 plus 20 will go and store into sum it's a 30 in the next iteration sum value 30 and uh, i equals to 2 nothing but a arr of 2 value is a 30 the value will be stored into sum so what is the sum value is a 60 next whenever i value 3 and i value 4 here it is a value 40 and here it is a 50 sum value is a 60 60 plus 40 will be stored into sum so sum value 100 next 100 plus 50 150 will be stored into sum so value is a 150 so this is okay so five iterations so five times it will execute and the sum value finally become 150 so here it will print the value 150 so this is so finding all the elements of array finding all the elements of array using a simple logic by taking one variable sum and we are repeating one loop and every time every element we are adding to the sum now the next program so what is the largest element in the array among all the elements so what is the largest element in the array we'll see how to find the largest element in the array so first we are taking one array so with some elements here this is array and we are taking some elements 7 13 21 16 9 31 24 index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total seven elements are there size is a seven now i want to find out the largest element so we don't know so what is the largest element then how to write the logic simply just find just consider declare one variable large and consider first element is the largest element first element so what is that first element a r r of zero now largest element is a 7 what is the largest element 7 now just compare the largest element with the remaining elements in the array index starts with the 1 to 6 no need to check with the first element sir why because already you considered as the first element is the largest element so why once again you are comparing with the first element wasting the time so start comparing the largest element what is the largest element 7 compare with the index element compare with the index element parallelly i am writing logic also observe very clearly suppose large equals to a r r of 0 now largest element is a 7 next we need to find what is the largest element in the remaining array so repeat the loop from 1 to 6 repeating the for loop i value starts from 1 to 6 is nothing but n i plus plus
1 to 7 because index up to 6 right 1 to 7 now every time just check a largest element with the index element compare both largest element and index element index element is a arr of 1 if if you found index element is greater than the large element what is that if index element what is that index element arr of i what is that arr of i 13 is greater than the largest element what is the largest element here 7 13 is greater than 7 of course true nothing but you found one more largest element so than what you considered so then just store that index element into largest element you found a more a largest element nothing but another largest element so store that index element into large into large first one is over next i value become increases i value become 2 so now 13 is comparing with a 21 you found another largest element 21 is the largest element next compare with element no use fail next 21 compare with 9 fail next 21 compare with 31 yes you found another largest element 21 is replaced with 31 next 31 is comparing with 24 again failed so what is the final largest element in the array 31 just print the largest element is a large variable directly print f print f largest element is percentage d large finish this is printing and this is logic this is logic how to find the largest element in the array very easy just first consider the first element is the largest element and every time compare index element with the largest element if you found any index number is greater than the largest element then store that index element into large very simple just like english statements okay so this is so finding a largest element in the array some more examples we'll see in the next session for more videos please subscribe to narish it thank you